Hello everyone and welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture, we are going to cover the difference between database, data lake, and data warehouse. All right, so before we cover the difference between them, we need to know the difference between structured and unstructured data. So in order to understand the difference again between database, data warehouse, and data lake, let's cover the difference between the two. So for structured data, this data is neat, has known schema, and could be fit in a fixed fields in a table. Basically, that's a dream of any data scientist, is to find structured data that looks like that. I have all the names in here, looks good. I have all the age, you know, all the, all, everything is clean. I don't have any missing information. That would be perfect, okay? Then I can use it and basically just, just run an algorithm on it <clears throat> and train an algorithm on it using this data. And that's actually a very easy task. And I'm going to show you how easy it is when we actually start building models using AWS SageMaker. Uh, but just please, please bear in mind that here for there are this data is not as, you know, like perfect as I uh, as I mentioned, because here we have some not a number, which means, you know, that there is some missing data. And but the overall idea is this data is still structured, which means I have all the names are listed, there is defined schema, everything looks great. Yes, it might need a little bit of cleaning, but it's still structured as well. On the other hand, we have what we call it unstructured data. This data has no schema or structure. Basically, I have, let's say, you know, like a newsletter, for example, I have a bunch of images mixed with text. There is no, like, it's hard to take this and feed it to an algorithm to infer information. Here, for example, I have a bunch of images, you know, with no labels, just, you know, like, and, and images of, let's say, like celebrities mixed with other people, mixed with, let's say, for example, uh, let's say flowers here, stuff like that, like something like that's mixed, and it's really hard to um, create kind of a schema out of it or make it structured in a way, okay? And that's what we call it unstructured data. All right, so uh, now as we cover the difference between structured and unstructured data, let's dig a little bit deeper into the difference between database, data lake, and data warehouse. So a database are typically structured with a defined schema. So structured data can basically fit in a database. Items are organized as a set of tables with columns and rows, and columns indicate attributes, and rows indicates an object or entity. For example, here I have a bunch of, you know, a database would have, let's say, an employees here. I have a company ID, I have department ID, I have the name of the employee, I have the manager ID, I have everything structured, you know, and everything is in its place. You cannot, you cannot play with it, you cannot change it, you know, like you have, you have to have the data and it has to be structured and filled in here within all these rows and columns, okay? All right, examples of that, there is Amazon Aurora, that will be one of them, and we're gonna cover that coming up in the next lecture. Example of a database is, let's say, MySQL. There is Oracle, there are tons of databases readily available. This is kind of, you know, um, I, all what I want you to know from here is the database is very structured with a defined schema, which again, very simple, very straightforward. The next type of data storage, per se, is a data warehouse. A data warehouse exists on top of several databases and it's basically used for business intelligence. So for example, here I might have multiple databases for the company, for example, and what Data House will do, it's going to consume that data from all these databases, okay, and create specifically a layer that is optimized to perform data analytics. So this is actually very important. Here on the database, it's basically designed mainly for transactional services. So basically, I just need like a specific information and that's it. It's not optimized to do data analytics on a database. Like if I wanted to visualize, for example, you know, like the different employees and there are the different, let's say, salaries, for example, it would be difficult with database. And that's why we here we use data warehouse that's specifically used for mainly uh, data visualization and to perform business analytics. So a data warehouse will consume the data from different, different databases here and will perform, let's say, some data visualization, as you guys can see here. And the schema is done or extracted on import, okay, as you import the data from different databases. All right, and what about the data lake? A data lake is a centralized repository for structured and unstructured data. Again, it's from the name data lake. You can throw anything in it, in it basically. So data lakes could be used to store, to store raw data without any structure or schema. For example, 
I might be collecting data, for example, let's say from my customers, for instance, let's say about, you know, like did they purchase products or not? Or let's say how many times they clicked on an ad, for example. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this data yet, so I don't know where to put it. I don't have structure for it, so I cannot put it in a database. I'm not planning to run analytics on it, so I don't want to use it, you know, a data warehouse, for example. So maybe, you know what, I want to put it somewhere. You know what, let's throw it in a data lake. That's pretty much it. So there's no need to perform any ETL or transformation jobs on the data. And you can store many types of data, such as images. I can throw in text. I can put in files. I can put in videos, whatever. Think of it as, you know, your, your hard drive, for example. You just throw stuff in there. You can store machine learning models, artifacts. You can put, let's say, analytics in there. And this is kind of, you know, you can throw in whatever you want. You can put in machine learning output. So as you train the model, you can put in the ar artifacts of the model, of the trained model in there. You can put in real-time data. You can throw in analytics output as well. And processing, if you want to do processing, will be done on export. So schema is defined on read. So as you extract information from the data lake, then I can assign schema to it, for example, or I can, I can do that when I'm reading it, basically, from the data lake. All right, okay, and that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope now you understand the difference between a database, data warehouse, and data lake. And this is very important because in this lecture, in the next lecture, I'm gonna show you AWS key storage services, and it's important to know what AWS service satisfies what application and what requirements that I'm looking for. And that's all what I have. Please enjoy AWS machine learning certification course, and I will see you guys in the next lecture.